sitting in my sitting room here in Dedham, and you might have noticed something. Perhaps you think it's a little bit strange. I've still got my Christmas decorations up. Well, traditionally, people used to keep their decorations up all the way to something called Candlemas, which is a special day when we remember that Jesus was taken to the temple by his mum and dad for the first time. They took him there to say thank you to God for his safe arrival. Like taking and bringing a baby to church, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to keep my decorations up because they're really nice and bright until the 2nd of February. And we've also got the Christmas tree outside the church up until that day. Well, I wonder if you can see some of the things that I've got on the table here today. I've got a bowl and it's full of water. And if you were here with me, I would get you to help me with this assembly, but obviously water is a very important thing, isn't it? Our bodies, I think, are made up of at least 70% water. And water is very precious to us. We need to drink lots of it, don't we, each day. It's one of the nicest things to do. I think we need to drink at least two litres a day. Now, I've got some problems with my shoulder at the moment. And my physio even told me yesterday, Anthony, you need to start drinking more water because having more water helps the nerves, which are a little bit damaged in my shoulder, to get better. Now, if you think about water, if you put some, sort, some things in water, say like this rubber glove, you put it in water and then take it out again, and it, it's not changed at all, is it? It's got a little bit wet, but it will dry off quite soon. Or if you put this cloth, it's a bit like a sponge, it soaks up the water, but it doesn't get changed. It's the same as it was before. Some things that are a little bit different. Take, for example, this tea bag. I don't know about you, but I love a good cup of tea. So, I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Pop the tea bag into the pot, pour some hot water on, something happens, doesn't it? We'll wait and see in a minute. That water is going to change into a lovely cup of tea. While we do that, let's think about some other things that might change in water. Sometimes I have to go and clean the fireplace out, and if I do that, Quite often, when I'm cleaning the fireplace out, I get my hands quite dirty and quite mucky. But if I put them in water, that washes them off, doesn't it? And they're all clean again. So let me just dry my hands off like that. I found this little mirror in the bathroom this morning. Very messy and dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but you can't actually see anything in it. I wonder if the water would help. Well, of course, you know it will. So if I get a little bit of water on this cloth and I wash the mirror, I can do something with this mirror now. I can look at myself in it and see myself reflected back towards me. Now I wonder if the cup of tea is ready. I hope so. So this started just off as plain water, didn't it? But now the tea bag has infused, that's what they call it, infused the water with all of those lovely leaves and the smell and the taste of tea. start to the day. Let's go back to the mirror. There's a bit more importance about this really because this mirror started off dirty and I cleaned it and then I could see my image reflected properly in it. Now you and me, we have been made in the image of God and that means in a special way that we're supposed to reflect his image to other people. We're supposed to be like God almost to other people, to be kind and thoughtful and 
loving and caring. But sometimes things get in the way of that, don't they? Sometimes we make mistakes or we think things about people that we shouldn't. And it's a bit like this mirror gets, that gets dirty and, and, and our reflection, it's not possible for us to reflect all the good things of God to other people. So we need to have something washed. And this water has cleaned that mirror. John the Baptist was a man who knew the importance and the significance of water. He invited people to get baptised. He knew that water doesn't change people on the inside, but it could be a sign that they've changed on the outside. Now one day, a very, very special person came to John to be baptised, and this special person was Jesus. Now, there are lots of paintings of Jesus' baptism, but here's one here. You might not be able to see it that well, but I'll send the link out with the film, and you'll be able to look it up. It's a very special painting by Della Francesca. Let me tell you about the story. John was Jesus' cousin, and he lived in the desert, and his job was to get people ready for the Messiah did this by showing people where their lives were dirty, the things that they did that mucked up the God in them, and he helped them to say sorry and to start again. And he did this by baptising them. They would go down into the River Jordan, go right under the water, and come back up as a way of showing that they wanted God to wash away all the dirty things that had stopped them being like God, and showing God to other people to start again. Now one day John saw Jesus coming and he knew he was God's promised rescuer, the Messiah. But Jesus asked John to baptise him just like everyone else. But John was a bit confused because he knew that Jesus had no dirt on him at all. He'd never done anything wrong. He was just like God. He reflected God perfectly to other people. He didn't have anything to wash away. But Jesus said to John, let it be this way for now. We should do everything that God wants. Well, as soon as Jesus was baptised, just like everyone else, he came up out of the water, and then heaven opened. And God's Spirit came down on him like a dove, and he heard a voice from heaven. And this is what God said to Jesus. He said, this is my son. I love him. Very pleased with him. Well, after this assembly is finished, perhaps you'd like to pause and take a little bit more of a moment to have a look at the picture. What can you see in it? What do you like about it? What's the most important thing in it? In today's story, what's the biggest clue about who Jesus is? you'd like to make your own picture of Jesus' baptism, thinking about which part you think is the most important, the water or the dove or the voice or John the Baptist. Perhaps you could make that into a display at home. But let's go back to the very beginning, our bowl of water. Water is important for life. We need it to drink. changes things and it can change us too. Let's remember that God wants us to reflect what he is like to other people. And sometimes we might need to ask him to wash us clean from the things that we've done wrong so that we can do that even better. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our school and we pray today for your blessing upon us as we learn in our homes or at school. Bless our families and the teachers who look after us. Bless our country and all those who are working so hard to make people well, to get the vaccine out and to care for us all. 
Jesus in your name. We pray these things today. Amen. Well, goodbye. I hope that you have a really, 